Today we're going to talk about how to set up your paper in MLA format in the new Microsoft Word 2013 or whatever this is. Uh, the first thing you need to do is make sure that the paper is set to double space. So before you do anything, go into the paragraph menu and change the line spacing to double. The other concern that you have to have while you're in this menu is to make sure that there's no spacing after each paragraph because that'll add extra space and it'll make everything look funny. So change that spacing after to zero. You'll also maybe, just to be double sure, want to click this don't add space between paragraphs of the same style. So the line spacing should be double, the spacing after should be zero, and then you can click OK. The next thing that you need to do is change the font. Uh, MLA format requires that you use a serifed, clean looking font, and most instructors like Times New Roman because it's sort of the standard. So change the font to Times New Roman and set it to 12 point. The next thing that you need to do is insert the page numbers. So you'll want to click on insert at the top, then go to page number. Uh, the easiest way to do it is to go top of page plane number three. Unfortunately, Word does not change your default font, so you have to adjust this manually. So you need to change it to Times New Roman, 12 point font, and then you'll want to type your last name in front of that number. So last name. And again, Word does not save the default font, so you'll have to change that too. So it should also be Times New Roman 12 point font. So now this whole thing should be Times New Roman 12 point font. It is, and we are set. The next thing that you need to do is to set up your header. The header only appears on the first page, and it is not in the document's header. It's just the header for MLA format. So the first thing you do is type your first name, space, last name, then you type instructor's name, whatever that happens to be. Then you need to add the date, and the date is always in the European style. Right now it's the 14th of January, so I'm going to type 14 January 2016. We do not need a comma because we separate the numbers with the month, so we can skip that part. Next we need the course number. Actually, I take that back. It's going to be your name, instructor's name, the course, and then the date. So we need to add probably English 101, uh, then the date. Last, we add a title. You add a, whatever the title of your paper will be. Uh, sometimes it's nice just to add title of paper and you can go back and rename it, whatever it will be, once you actually come up with a better title, but put a placeholder so you don't forget. The last thing you have to do is indent the first line. You can do that by pushing the tab key on your keyboard and that will move the first line over one half inch and then you can start typing the first sentence of your essay. This is now in MLA format and your instructor will be happy. If you would like to set up Word so that you never have to do this again and it's always in this format, just click the paragraph button and click set as default and it will say, whoa, do you want to do that for this document only or all documents? And you probably want to do it for all documents so you never have to do this process again. You can do the same thing for the fonts. Set that font, Times New Roman 12, regular as the default for all documents and that will save you all kinds of trouble in the future. I hope this was helpful.